you know? Lots of kids have secrets they don't want to share with anyone. Like letting the kids at school know you still like to sleep with an old stuffed teddy bear. Or that you ate a whole package of double fudge brownie cookies. Some secrets are important to keep under wraps. Like who I really am under this mask. <laughs> Talk about blowing my cover. But sometimes keeping a situation secret, especially a bad situation, isn't the best thing for you to do. Stop your crying, Maria! It's all your fault. You shouldn't be sneaking around spying on me all the time. Uh, a man can't have any peace in his own home with a brat like you hanging around. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't mean to bother you. I get enough aggravation at work. I don't need any more from you. I need another beer. Get me one from the kitchen, Maria. But you've had a lot already, Daddy. Maybe you should stop. I don't need a babysitter. Do as I say and no more pet talk! Tigers are mammals which belong to the cat family. They are carnivores. <sighs> Why do they put words in here? I can't understand. Carnivores, meat eaters. Why didn't they just see that in the first place? Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. How was your day? Fine. Maria, how did you get that bruise? Uh, it's nothing. I just, uh... Maria fell. She tripped. You know how clumsy Maria can be sometimes. Where did this happen, Maria? Uh, on the front porch. I tripped on the steps. I guess Daddy was right. I am clumsy. <clears throat> I gotta get to work. Maria, you better put some ice on that bruise. Yes, Daddy. All right, who took my new Spider-Man comic book? If somebody borrows them, it's supposed to leave me a note. That's the rule. Did you take it, Jason? Don't look at me. I've been too busy to read. Comic book? Uh-uh. What do you call that, Timmy? Gee, Jay, you know how much I like to read the new ones. I just forgot about all that note stuff. Timmy, you're lucky I don't forget you're my friend. Hey, here comes Maria. Boy, does she look tweaked. I wonder what's wrong. I'll give you three guesses. Hi, Maria. Oh, hi. I didn't think you'd be here. Maria, did you get into a fight? No. I just fell. You've been falling a lot lately. Yeah, but we never see you fall at school or in the clubhouse. You're always getting hurt at home. It's it's none of your business what I do. Don't get angry, Maria. We're just worried about you. Yeah, you have to admit it is kind of strange the way you get hurt all the time. Why are you guys bothering me like this? Can't I have any privacy? Hey, we just want to help you if you're in trouble. Well, I'm not in trouble, and I don't need anything from any of you. Goodbye. Whew, she's never been this weird before. I think it's time we did something to help Maria. So, I think Maria's father hits her. Last week her arm was all black and blue, and today it's her face. How about the four of us go over there and teach Mr. Ortiz not to hit Maria anymore? No, Timmy, you don't solve anything with violence. It sounds like Maria is a victim of child abuse. She needs to talk to someone who can help her. But she won't even talk to us. Yeah, how can we help her if she won't let us? Here, I have a friend named Jake who'll be able to help you. He's a counselor down at the child abuse hotline. The most important thing is to help Maria understand that there are adults who want to help her. Okay, we'll do it. Child abuse hotline, this is Jake speaking. How can I help you? Um, hi. My name is Jason, and I think my friend is being hurt by her father. Can you tell me about child abuse? Well, there are different kinds of abuse, Jason. If somebody touches the private areas of your body or asks you to do the same to them, then that's sexual abuse. Well, I'm not sure, but I don't think that's Maria's problem. 
Jason, if your friend wants to call me, tell her I'm ready to help if she wants to talk. Okay. You know, come to think of it, I've heard Maria's father say some pretty mean things to her. But I'm sure he hits her, too. Ah, that's what's called physical abuse. Sometimes an adult can't control his or her temper, Jason. They become violent and strike out. I see. Well, that sounds like Maria's father. A child who's a victim of abuse can feel like the loneliest person in the world, Jason. They think they are totally powerless over their situation. But she is powerless. We're just kids. What can Maria do? She can ask for help, Jason. If Maria doesn't feel she can go to her mother, then she must get help from another adult she can trust. A teacher, counselor, or a minister, or another family member like an aunt or a cousin. Even neighbors can help. And Maria has to understand that her father needs help as much as she does. Yeah, I see. Okay, I think I know what to do. Remember, if your friend wants to call me herself, tell her I won't tell anyone else until she's ready. Okay, thanks. I'll tell her. Bye. Jason, you've got to come quick. What's happening? Come on, Maria. Don't cry. We'll find a way to help you. Nobody can help me. It's all my fault. I always do things to make Daddy mad. If I was only better, he wouldn't punish me so hard. Maria, that's not true. What your father did to you isn't punishment, it's abuse. No! Daddy didn't hurt me on purpose. He's my father. Maria, wise up. You don't know anything! He's got a lot of things on his mind. And sometimes, when he drinks, he hits me a little too hard. But he doesn't mean to do it. Well, maybe not, Maria, but it doesn't make what he's done right. The way your father acts just isn't okay. Face it, Maria. Your father has a problem. Timmy's right. It's hard to ask for help, Maria, but sometimes you just got to. You can't. Sure you can, Maria. What if we go with you to tell your mother? What if she doesn't believe me? Then you tell a teacher or your minister or an adult friend. You keep telling someone until you find someone who will help you. Then everybody will know. My father might even get put in jail. That's possible, Maria. I don't know, but... He'll hate me if that happens. I couldn't stand that. But he'll get the help he needs to stop abusing you. I don't know. I'm too scared. Why don't you tell my mom, Maria? You like her, and she'll know how to help you. Please? Okay. Well, I'm glad you felt you could talk to me. Sometimes it's not easy to talk about what's going on in your life. Timmy! Hey! I was just trying to hear what's going on in there. Do you have to be so nosy? Yeah, she's my friend. Jason, do you think Maria's gonna be okay? Yup, I think Maria's gonna be just fine from now on. It was very difficult for Maria to talk to someone about her problem. But now, the secret's no longer her own. She took the first step. Now she and her family will get the help they need. So remember, if you need help, don't be afraid to ask for it. If someone is abusing you in any way, talk to an adult you trust. Your parents, a teacher, a clergyman, neighbor, the parent of a friend, or a child abuse hotline. Once you get that secret off your chest, you'll feel a lot better. I promise.